Hi, I'm Bob Pearson from Pearsoft Corporation, and today I'll be demonstrating JClip. A JClip is a Windows application that runs on Windows Vista and Windows XP, and it works with iTunes, and it brings to iTunes the power of web search. Now, how's it do that? Well, I have JClip running here, working with iTunes. And uh, as you can see, I have track display at the top of iTunes with a track currently playing. I can interact with this area of the screen, but I can't access the Internet. I can't get more information about the current track. Look up tour information, say, or look up some videos that the band has available. And that's where JClip comes in. Double-clicking JClip will clip it right on top of the track display of iTunes. And the power of JClip is revealed by simply right-clicking and displaying the context menu. There's a number of options in JClip, but the most prominent is right at the top, which is this web menu option. What JClip has done is taken the current band and track information and constructed a search string. That search string is directed at a number of major websites that you can select by just checking uh, one of the sites over here, checking or unchecking. You can also influence the search by including some keywords. Right now I don't currently have any set. But together the keywords and the current band and track information is used to construct a search string that gets directed at these sites. And it's presented to you through this context menu and a number of links. Now as you can see the links are targeted at the major websites that I had checked in the search sites option. And JClip makes it really easy to access the internet and get information about the current band and track you're listening to. So let's say I wanted to select uh, the YouTube option. By clicking on that, I'm, t I'm taken directly to YouTube. And YouTube has the search string fully populated from JClip. And all the results already accumulated in this uh, dis display screen. I can go ahead and scroll all the way down through and I have many, many results available. I can click on any one of these links and bring up the video. With JClip on top of the screen, I can just pull its volume down and then watch the video. And close out YouTube, come back to iTunes and JClip. I'm back in JClip. I can go ahead and select another met, uh, website with search string fully populated, say Wikipedia. Off I go to that site. Search string again is populated already. And I have information here where I can click and display, read about the band, read about the track, and get a lot more insight into the band and track information. So let's go ahead and close out Wikipedia. And let's try one more. Uh, this is a nice one. Um, if you want to get direct information on the band, there's a link directly to MySpace, and what it will do, there's some options in the XML file that provides this information, but you can just target the band as opposed to the band and track. Funnel that directly into MySpace. MySpace has their search page. Information on the band is listed. The first link is to the band's actual MySpace page. I click on that, and here I am in MySpace right with the, uh, the band's website. So when I'm through looking at that, go ahead and close the browser. And back in JClip, let's take a look at some of the other features in here. The Save Searches feature allows you to keep track of all the searches that you've looked at while you've been running JClip. And it stores that information in an XML file, which can be sorted by band and track. And you can go and revisit these links anytime that you want. And you may have some information in here that uh, you looked at a few days ago or a few weeks ago. But by simply clicking on one of the search results that you've saved, you can activate that and then go directly to the website based on that particular search string. Here we go off to YouTube with the police information. All right, let's take a look at some of the other features in JClip. We've looked at the web links, we've looked at the search sites, keywords, and the safe search information. 
Now down here, uh, let's take a look at some of the appearance options. JClip has a pretty extensive set of options here. To affect the appearance of JClip, we can change the colors. Say pick a different color. Uh, we can also turn on and off information that sits on top of the JClip display, track information, album, artwork. I can resize the JClip window. And I can also change, say, the texture of the JClip window and change its opacity too and move it around. By double clicking JClip, it'll affix itself right on top of the iTunes track display again. Now, the final feature that I'd like to talk about today involves the automatic update. This is a really powerful feature to have in an application that allows you to obtain the most recent version any new functionality that's added to JClip you'll get automatically all you have to do is click this link right here check for updates it'll go out to the Parasoft.com website and if there is a newer version of JClip you'll be notified and given the option to install that if you'd like you can also set JClip up to automatically check for updates each time you start the application. Now this demonstration has concentrated on a song from your playlist or from my playlist. This will also work with the radio stations too and there are a lot of radio stations inside of iTunes and when you listen to songs within the radio station area uh, the track and band information will also be revealed and that information will be used to construct search strings and have those directed directly at the major websites that I showed earlier. So it's, uh, it's a really fun application to use. It's really easy to use. And I hope you'll go to www.getjclip to get some more information on JClip and uh, actually get the product directly. So thank you very much for watching this video today. I'm Bob Pearson, Parasoft Corporation.